Hello Firearms Friends, Auction Weekend is upon us, and as we are wont to do, we want to show you something just fantastic that's coming up the next day during the auction. This, of course, is during our August 25th, 26th, 27th Premier Firearms Auction, and day one on Friday, I couldn't help but choose this one. This will be a lot 348, and if you know what this is, you can tell it a mile away, and if not, it looks like quite a contraption, a little bit of Rube, Rube Goldberg going on. This is a Cameron Yagi trench rifle system. So developed late in the war and during World War I, the Great War, um, they developed an apparatus for rifle shooters so they could remain concealed beneath a trench line, but still peek their rifle up, use this apparatus to remain safely hidden, but still provide accurate fire on enemy trenches. You do that by strapping in a standard 1903 rifle, we have a leather strap here at the back and a clamp, a padded clamp here at the wrist. And of course, a mechanism that basically extends all the controls down here. A little periscope, so you have a scoped optic off to the side and it goes a little something like this. These extended controls, a periscope here, a 25 round extended magazine, shoulder right here in stock, eye in the periscope, Standard hand on the trigger. Your front hand would be holding either a leather strap uh, attached to the front to hold the front end down. And once you fire, bang, you can manipulate the bolt right here with your right hand. And of course it won't cycle because it is empty and that follower is gonna catch. And then you could load your next round. All from the relative safety and comfort behind your trench. The Cameron Yagi mechanisms are extremely rare. There's thought to be a handful made of both variations. Uh, this one that we have is not one of the previously known examples that's listed in the Springfield Armory. So a fantastic chance to get your, your hands on a rare piece of Great War history. And for any US military collector, this is a fine find on day one of our August premiere firearms auction.